Hey folks, welcome back. Um, today I'm taking a look at the future of family vlog channels on this platform, on the YouTube platform. Um, it's just something that came to mind the other day. I was watching some videos of some commentators talking about the family vlog scene at this current point in time. And I couldn't help but think to myself, you know, what is going to happen in like, let's say, the next five years? Um, five years is a long time on in internet years, so what is going to happen? I'm doing this a, a really general reading, right? This is the non-dramatic family vlog channels in addition to the more dramatic, more flashy um, family vlog channels. This is just in general. Today, we are doing a Leonard Ma reading, a Grand Tableau. I've never done this before on this channel. This is, and Grand Tableaus can sometimes take days to read. They take for, they can take for freaking ever to read if you really want to dig deep, dive deep into what these Grand Tableaus say. I don't know if I'm going to read this for days, but I definitely feel like I'm going to be reading this out um, over a, maybe um, a couple of, I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to take. Let's just see. So I am going to take, I'm going to take some of the smallest Letter Ma coins, um, cards that I have. They're coins, actually. They're wooden coins. Uh, mine were made by Smart Ash Holders. I believe it's smartashholders.com. Yes. So definitely check them out. But I am going to shake the bag until Spirit says stop. So how Grand Tableaus work is that we use all of the cards or the coins in this spread. It's kind of like using all 78 cards in the tarot spread. It's very detailed and it's meant for big questions like what is the future of this whole genre for the next five years or so? What's that going to look like? It's good for personal readings like what will happen if I marry this person, for instance. It's good for business organizations to help them say, okay, if we do this particular thing, what is this going to do for us? Spirit more shuffling. I'm getting a no. So, folks, I'm going to lay out all the Leonard Ma coins as I get them. Okay, folks, that took a hot minute. We are using all 36 letter mock cards or coins in my case. Um, this is how we get a super detailed reading on what's going on with the future of family vlog channels on YouTube, let's say in five years or so in the year 2026. I have opted to use the child card or coin as the signifier that we're going to base our grand tableau on. If I was doing this for an individual, let's say a feminine individual, I would base it on this, on the, um, in my other deck, it's called the Anima, um, but I would base it on the woman, quote unquote, card, right? These can be used for folks of all gender expressions, not just for the cisgender binary, right? <clears throat> and then, um, of course, for um, more masculine folks, I would use the, quote, man card. But in this case, I have opted to use the child card to signify family vlog channels, I think it's incredibly significant that the child is on the exact opposite end of 
um, the more feminine individuals for these kinds of channels. And then, of course, you see the more masculine individuals up here. I'm going to call these folks the parents, right? The parents couldn't be further away from the kid, right? Like, quote unquote, the maternal figures are on the opposite end, and the paternal figures are up here. They're far away. Family vlog channels in the future are not going to be centered so much on the kids. I get the feeling they're going to be centered on money. This is our money card, the fish, okay? Let me pull the card, like the coins, a little bit further in. I'm going to have to do some rearranging, but whatever, right? So here's how Grand Tableaus work. Still rearranging. Um, these you can read these card these coins as if they are um, like like a portrait spread, like a nine by like a three by three spread. Um, so a lot of this that's uh, what what you can do. You can also involve these four coins down here. Now these are often known in. I don't remember if it's the French or the German version of Lenormand, but these are known as the cards or the coins of fate. This is what's going to be happening going forward in the future. We can also take a look at the four coins in the center, and that tells us about the heart of the matter. So let's go ahead and do that. When I take a look at Moon, and clover together at the heart of the matter. I think about taking emotional matters lightheartedly. Um, and this is talking about the non-dramatic as well as the dramatic channels, right? But um, when you see some channels, some parents, how they deal with their kids, um, I see some evidence of parents taking their kids' emotions pretty lightheartedly, right? Um, there's this attitude, and again, this is not in all channels, and all, again, all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Um, some parents see their kids' emotions as an opportunity to get out the camera and film, as opposed to a chance to work with that, right? Explore what's going on with the kid and do something with it. Um, I feel like that's what's going on here, the heart of the matter in five years. <clears throat> Excuse me, God. In five years, it's really not going to be at the kids. The kids are going to be at the very furthest corner, not even in the carts of fate, right? At the very furthest corner of the entire spread. The kid, It's not about the kids. It's an about anything but the kids. Now, I think this is interesting. This is a sudden end, traditionally, to difficulties, to challenges, right? So it's possible that in five years, um, there will be some family vlog channels who have gone through some stuff, maybe even legally speaking. <clears throat> and in five years, that's going to mark an end of um, what those channels have been going through, what the family vlog genre on YouTube has been going through, very possibly, okay? Five years is a long time, Grand tableaus are absolutely designed to handle those five years, to handle long lengths of time. But keep in mind that um, the motion, the, the future, the future is always in motion, and that what we're reading right now may change because one family vlog channel does something really specific. But um, I don't like right here. I I could be wrong. Okay, I'm. Practice, I'm using this whole channel as a way to practice my tarot and Lenormand reading. I could be wrong, but I don't see good things here. An end to a challenge. That's interesting. Let me do a little bit more reading on what's going on here because I see Scythe occurring alongside the house, which is about the family. Um, it's about what you find, where you find your security. Uh, when you come home, what does that look like for you? I see a selfish home right here, and I see an end to a selfish home. I don't know what's going on with that, but on the other hand, there's the tree, which often for, I, I don't remember, again, 
if it was for the French or the German letter mom. But that points to your family, um, selfish family, a selfish family that comes to an end that has quite a few difficulties. Yes, there's love in there and they're opening themselves up to wishes, hopes, and dreams, but I don't know, this taking emotions lightheartedly, that's a problem. So once again, you can read these grand tableaus in a couple of different ways. Um, you saw me doing a little bit of linking between um, cards or coins here. You can do that for every single one of these coins. It will take freaking days to really get through. Um, you can do that. You can do that to get a super specific reading. I want to focus on the child. Um, we're going to focus on other points here in just a second, but the child is really what I wanted to use as the signifier for family channels. Let's take a closer look at that for just a second. Okay, so I straightened out my coins one more time, and I'm going to take my amethyst point, and I'm going to place it on the child so that I don't lose place and, um, I don't know, so that's easier for my viewers. But, um, <clears throat> normally I would do a nine card reading around the child, um, but the child, like I was saying earlier, is on the farthest end of the spread. This is not, of this couldn't be, this is all about the kids. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, this is all about um, attention and money. What's going to be happening at the end? Um, we were talking about end of difficulties, but I also see some more challenges with um, taking kids' emotions lightheartedly. I wonder if that isn't part of why the child coin is all the way on the end. It's distressing to see um, child next to snake. My goodness, what do you not want around your kids are snakes. This is about deception, deception surrounding children. And it sounds like that this is where the celebrity, here, let me point this way so I don't block the light, um, that the celebrity status, that the wishes, hopes, and dreams are surrounded by deception, right? This is what we show to the world. And when we turn the cameras off, things are completely different. Um, this isn't a good thing, even with the key. This is opening up, this is opening ourselves up, children up to um, real deception, right? Like, how, like for the drama more dramatic channels, this is teaching children, this is how life is. Um, it involves deception, it involves your being in kind of a, um, a celebrity status. You know, you were born to be on camera for some of these channels, is what I'm getting. The child will do something revolu- like, children in the future will do something to revolutionize the family vlog genre. I do see lawsuits in the future uh, in around this. And again, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, I'm only a beginner. But those kids that were always on camera, who, excuse me, who didn't have any other option, there's going to be something that comes out of that. Key points to a revolution. This tells, like, it suggests to me that in the future, when the kids grow up, they're going to say, what we grew up with was not right, was not psychologically normal for kids. And again, these are the not these are the, for the dr more dramatic channels on the spectrum. But I'm seeing with the snake and the star together that the celebrity status, these desires for something bigger, like up in the stars, up in the clouds, it comes back around to bite you in the butt a little bit later. It's going to come around to bite these family vlog channels in the butt because the kids say, this was a problem. What, how I grew up was not normal. I would have loved to have had a normal childhood, is what I suspect that at least a few of these kids are going to say. I could be wrong. Things could, things could change in the future, okay? So 
normally I would do a nine card reading around that particular coin, but it's all the way at the end. Let's take a look at woman for just a second. Um, I think it's interesting that we have some context developing here. Um, this is about more feminine individuals who are naive, who are, um, who get taken for a ride, so to speak, and not, not at all in a good way. Um, when I take a look at <clears throat> some more context over here, I see destructive choices. Do you, we don't want mice in our food. We don't want mice in our houses unless unless they're pets, right? Unless they're pets. I'm looking at, um, we typically associate mice with destruction, with disease. I see destructive choices. Crossroads is about choices. I see some destructive choices that very specifically naive um, feminine parental figures um, for lack of a better phrase, um, are going to make in the future, um, in five years, right? This is going to be up to some really bad choices that some specific family vlog channels make. And this is possibly what could lead to the children in those family vlog channels rebelling, is actually the word that comes to mind right about now. When I see writer next to woman, that tells me that there's some news heading quickly towards those feminine parental figures. I also see Fox um, in diag oh, um, diagonally from the woman that tells me selfishness, right? Thinking of oneself first. Um, Fox can be a negative card in most cases. On rare occasions, it's positive. I don't get a negative, I, I, don't, I don't get a positive connotation, I should say, with the fox in this case. This, again, child is on the, I was not happy to see child on the very furthest corner of this spread. Um, this is about thinking about the adults first and not about what's best for the kids. The adults want to be famous. Let's do that. And as we can see, tree and woman, that's, you know, the feminine parental figures. It's what was what it's telling us. Also, it's deeply established, this selfishness, a non-dramatic family vlog channel is not going to suddenly overnight become a dramatic family vlog channel. This is going to be something that was deeply rooted within these individuals from the point that they were born, right? Long before they ever became parents, there was always a kind of selfishness that was deeply rooted inside of themselves. Um, it's something that they can choose to wipe out if they want, but they have to make that choice. Um, I want to take a look at the masculine parental figures up here in the top row. And once again, we cannot do a nine card reading for the masculine parental figure, which I think is just fascinating. I think it's fascinating once again. I said this earlier, but these guys are spread out on different parts of the spread. Family vlog channels are just not going to be about the quote-unquote family anymore. It's going to be about bringing together what looks like a family for the camera, for views. It's really crappy. But I see secrets. Excuse me, I'll switch hands. I see secrets around the man, and I see the man, uh, uh, see the masculine parental figures being super dominant. The bear often to me suggests mama bear, but it's not sitting next to the woman coin. It's sitting next to the man. And in this case, it gives a more dominant edge, even a more abusive edge. Considering again that the child is all, is not a consideration in these family vlog channels, considering that emotional needs are not really being regarded, not being taken care of. I wonder if like these the, the sensation I'm getting is these these dad figures will give off a real like real good dad 
energy about them. But that's for the camera. Behind the scenes, the secrets are going to be that they're kind of a destructive personality, right? The bear card doesn't have to be a bad card, but it depends on the context. And my intuition says that in like the bear isn't doing good things for these family vlog channels. Especially when I see it so close to um, the mice, right? When you're reading Grand Tableau, and of course this is from one um, place where I'm learning how to read Grand Tableaus. This is going to be the past, right? And this is going to be more of the future. So they do have choices. The, um, the masculine parental figures do have choices, choices about where they're going to take their success. But they also like they can also choose to keep it secret. And this is where I feel like a lot of this destruction is going to come through. With the cards of fate, we're going to jump around. I am so sorry. We're going to jump around. With the cards of fate, I see a cycle. This can point to engagement on a really literal level. On the other hand, this can point to just never-ending cycles. And especially when I see it next to Stork, right? Like, you can cross a river a million times, but it'll be different each one of those million times. And you'll be a different person each one of those million times, too. This is what this is about. Like, this is a constant cycle. This is a never-ending cycle. What we saw, what we're seeing right now is just going to be repeated into the future just to create more destruction. This is the context. Destructive choices are where it's going to be going in five years. It's kind of depressing. So I've taken a look at a few of the cards. Oh, you know what? You know what? Spirit, is this a red lily? I see a red. Whoop, excuse me. Excuse me, Amethyst. I see a red lily. Sp Spirit is indicating a red lily. So this is about sex, y'all. I gotta be honest. Uh, I know of at least one family vlog channel where the, parent the dad parental figure is not exactly the most faithful <laughs> uh, character to his family. <coughs> Like, he has a lot of infidelities and that kind of thing. Uh, I see more of that happening in the future, right? Again, you project one image to the camera, and you live your life how you want behind the scenes. Um, once the camera's off is what I'm getting. Um, I'm also, again, getting it like, it may be that it's the masculine parental figures who are taking their children's emotions, who are taking even their spirituality. The moon can also point to spirituality. Um, this is about them taking their spirituality, their emotionality, very lightheartedly, right? Thinking about their sex lives first. But it's not going to be terribly apparent. The book tells me this is going to be kind of secretive. If you choose to read between the lines, if you choose to read the sub subtext, you'll see it better. Hang on just a second. Let me take a look at some other things and I'll be right back. So please forgive this all over the place reading, but I'm taking a look at the cards of fate again. <coughs> this points to me of messages being made public, right? These were private messages that got sent back and forth. And these public mess these messages are going to be made public, I should say, and they're going to reveal just these endless cycles of very little change, right? When I point to storks and cycles, they migrate every year, right, to warmer climates during the winter. But this is about like just very little changing. It's just over and over and over the same things over and over. More emote like I don't want to be too harsh, but emotional abuse comes to mind, and spirit is really nodding when I say emotional abuse. I mean, what do you expect with the kid parked all the way at the end of the reading? Of course, that's emotional abuse. I want to take a look at some nine card spreads. 
to kind of help me figure out what's going to happen in the future with um, these family vlog channels. What stuck out to me right now, or stuck to me, stuck out to me at the moment, was the heart. This is compassion. This is love. It can be romantic love, but it can be other kinds of love too. It can be family love. Um. Well, you know what? Sitting next to the red lilies, I wonder if this isn't like sexual love, right? In addition to being about families. Let's do a reading. Let's uh, just be like all up to figure out what's going on. So we're going to read this as if it's a nine card spread, just these nine coins. So with the clouds, that's emotional confusion to me. What's the context in the future? There's going to be some emotional, con there's going to be some emotional con confusion around love for the family, right? And the sexual stuff is going to be complicating that. It feels like these are going to be a lot of young parents who didn't stop, or I should say, didn't get, didn't do all the fun stuff before they decided to settle down and have a family. I could be completely wrong, right? But there's something to be said for having like a fun adult life before you like settle down. And I feel like for some of these families, that format's not going to work where they, you know, pretty quickly they settle down like in their 20s and get married and have kids, right? Um, early 20s, that's kind of uncommon in today's day and age. I know that was super common like in the 80s or something like that, but it's not common like that anymore. Um, and I get the feeling that compassion and love just, it's not here. Like people are confused about how to do that. And I guess, you know, when you do say views and money are our first and foremost priority, not consciously, right? But subconsciously, yeah. There is going to be a lot of emotional confusion about what is love, especially when it comes to the kids, right? The child is not part of this particular um, nine card reading, but it's just on the outside. It may as well be part of it. Um, what do we do for our kids? Who knows? I don't like the coffin and the snake, right? This is repressed deception. This is deception that's hiding in the wings, right? There's the kind of deception where you can see it coming. And then there's other kinds of deception where it's hanging out waiting to strike. Kind of freaky. This is confusion waiting in the wings to strike. This is emotional deception. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised when it comes down to money. This is love family love, this is sexual love even, being monetized. It's all about the money, right? It's possible even that this lifestyle of living away for a camera really like takes a toll on the, on the parents who have to, you know, if they're going to run an image or if they're going to make money, they need to run a particular image this may be this thing that kind of squeezes the love out of the equation altogether, you know? So I want to read what will be going on in the present um, five years from this particular point. There will be a lot of challenges. There's going to be a lot of really powerful challenges to love and affection. These are not going to be necessarily loving families. Um, I'm sure the non-dramatic channels will keep a good balance, but um, the more dramatic channels, the ones that attract drama, are going to have a really difficult time, and it's going to have an effect on their kids. Uh, this is interesting. Sex is the um, the central theme of the what's going on on a conscious level. Um, Consciously for these creators, and again, I should say that it's right across the way from the man. It's knighting, if you will, if you want to look at what that means. Knighting and letter ma. Um, it's just a little bit away from, and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay, I'm learning the, the, the letter ma and learning the knighting stuff. But it's not far away. It's diagonally from the man. And this is about sexual and emotional confusion. 
uh, in naivete. Naivete is what this is what I'm getting. This comes down to, especially when you, especially I should say, when you look at this diagonal, right? Sexual men opening themselves up to naivete is what I'm seeing right there. Grand tableaus are interesting. You can read them a wide variety of ways. That's what's going on subconscious. Oh, what I should say, it's going on consciously, right? There's there's some emotion, there's some emotionality, some like a little bit of spirituality surrounding the sex stuff, right? This is meant to be that kind of thing. But then there's the clouds, the fog, the confusion that surrounds it. What's moving underneath is not good. Money is moving underneath at the end of the day. I kind of don't like to see the money coin appearing underneath the love coin. Again, this is love, affection for the cameras. When the cameras are turned off, it's a completely different situation altogether. It's tragic. I mean, we've got deception, deception hanging out in the wings because money is involved. It's really tragic. When we take a look at the past, that's opening ourselves up to, like, excuse me, opening ourselves up to confusion and deception. That's what led up to this particular situation of being focused on its compassion and love for money. Not because the kid is in the center. And if I had want, if the, if the family vlog genre was going to be healthy, I would expect the baby card, the child card, to be appearing more towards the heart of the matter. But instead we have the scythe. Instead we have, you know, emotional confusion. Instead we have difficulties. Not good stuff. So that's going into the past. What's leading up? That's kind of where we are right at this moment. Leading into where we're going to be in the future. And again, it could change, right? I'd like for this to change. I'd like to be wrong. But, ooh, okay, sexual love, and it comes down to money. We're going to hide this sexual love because it makes us a lot of money. Now, I do know this is going to be knighting, right? That's how a knight moves on the chessboard. But if this is about secrets. We're going to keep this secret, but we're also going to have fun on the side. We have to keep the sexy sides of ourselves hidden so that we can continue to make money, right? Because, of course, it would destroy the image of the family of that particular channel if that kind of stuff were broadcasted. I don't know. In the future, for the compassion to be found in family vlog channels, I see some emotional grief over some challenges, right? I wonder if these challenges aren't going to be insurmountable. Sometimes we can't climb a mountain. Sometimes we get up to a certain point, we say, I can't do this anymore. I have to stop. Emotional repression. These emotions are going to be challenging and the parents are going to want to repress it in the future. They're going to want to repress the consequences of their choosing to be famous, right? So folks, that is one nine coin reading. We have a couple of we have a couple of options for nine coin readings. We can talk about some drama. We can move this up to sex. Love and sex right together. I think that makes good. In a poetic sense, that makes sense with family vlog channels. But let's put sex at the center of this particular reading. Men are involved and women are at the opposite, opposite or more feminine. Masculine men, more, I should say, more masculine individuals. They, like, the feminine individuals are not part of this picture, but the more masculine individuals are. Something about the sex is going to be, it's going to open up something. It's going to be revolutionary somehow for the men in these family vlog channels. I don't know how in the future. 
This is so weird. A difficult doctrine to do with sex. I wonder if like religiosity, uh, being religious, doesn't have something to do with this. I could be completely wrong. This is so weird. Like the religion together with the sex in the mountain? That's like religion making sex difficult for you. Right? Like you grew up with all these things around sex and now you have to deal with it later in adulthood. That's so weird. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Like you've got dudes who are growing up in like super um, like bizarrely conservative um, religions where sex is a taboo to discuss, right? And then they bring it up into adulthood and it does something maybe not necessarily good for them. Naive dudes somehow open up to something sexual. Dominant dudes, dominant religious dudes open up to something sexual. That's what's going on on a conscious level. What they're consciously aware of is that they're dominant, they're religious. But what's going on in their present? Well, there's some sexual and emotional confusion. And what's going on underneath everything are challenges with their love for their families, right? Like, they're together in these families for some specific reason. But it's not like there's no gravitas around it. There's no... Again, it's taking these emotions lightheartedly. It's this idea of whatever around being a family is what I'm getting. They're opening themselves up to some real challenges when they stick around to I'm dominant and I'm faithful to a particular faith. They're opening themselves up to some real challenges when it comes to love and affection with their families. When I take a look at their past, what's building up to this five-year point for family vlog channels, I see religion creating a lot of confusion, right? Confusion around faith, confusion around what's going on, right? Revolution, I put that alongside Uranus, right? This is the planet of things were this way one day and now they're another way this next day, right? Their faith is going to create a lot of confusion, a lot of revolution, right? Their faith is calling them to be something different, but they don't want that, is what I see leading up to this five-year point. Sex and love will be dominant at that five-year point. That will, what you, what will be what's going on, maybe not necessarily on the surface because, again, it is about secrets. But it's going to be a dominant part of the family vlog channel under the surface. And in the future, well, I see a lot of emotional challenges, a lot of spiritual challenges for the masculine parental figures in the family vlog channel. That was a vlog, vlog channel genre, I should say. I want to move my amethyst to another point. For some reason, dog loyalties really stands out. Let's take a look at that as the central theme. So what's going on on a present level at, in five years or so? I see taking drama lightheartedly, but staying loyal to it, right? It's what gets them views. It's what gets them money. Um, and so they're going to stay conscious and aware of that. They're going, but they're going to stay uh, lighthearted towards it. They're not going to take it that seriously at all. They're just going to see it as drama. They're not going to see it as this discussion around what they're doing as problematic. They're just going to see it as light chatter, just noise, if you will. Consciously, again, they're going to be, the secrets are going to be successful, right? Um, and they're going to go pretty far in how secretive they are. 
Um, but at the end of the day, unfortunately, the secrets are going to be successful. Their viewers are not going to know a lot of stuff that, um, the viewers are just not going to know a lot of stuff, unfortunately. This is a long-term kind of thing. Yeah. Consciously, that's what's going on. But subconsciously, we have the family structure. We have the home under distress, right? We have the end of the family structure because of selfishness. Or the selfishness is causing a lot of harm. It's causing... Um, one thing to end and another thing to start again because in the home because of the selfishness. I understand that the home, the house is associated with um, security and all that kind of good stuff. The fox really compromises that security for these channels. That's what's going moving on a subconscious level. When we take a look at the past, this is perhaps a sudden end to taking secrets lightheartedly. I know I said earlier that the secrets are going to be long term and that we may never know about all of them because of how successful they are. On the other hand, I do see an end at some point in the next five-ish years or so to some really specific secrets that the family vlog channels, the more dramatic ones, had been taking lightly. I see a pursuit of success here, right? A pursuit of success at the expense of the family, right? The dog is literally chasing success, running away from home in a specific, in a, like if you a literal sense, right? Getting away from, um, why they're there to begin with is the unfortunate thing. These folks are going to chase success at, uh, at uh, to their family's harm. What's going on in the future? Some dramatic, it's in the distance, right? We were talking about, you know, this being in the next five years or so, but in the distant future, maybe even past five years, and I'm getting a nodding head from a spirit. Um, yes, their selfishness, the drama that they stirred up will be revealed in the future, but this is in the very distant future. Possibly when these kids start talking, when the kids start opening up about their experiences. Moving forward, I see selfishness really coming to, um, Selfishness being the root of these secrets, right? We're going to keep this behind the scenes. We're going to keep this off camera so that we can continue to make money off of this, so that we can continue to get views off of it. This is a long journey to the end. I don't know if I see an end to family vlog channels. But the scythe definitely indicates to me that one thing is going to end and another another thing is going to begin. The end end is in the far different far distant future, but it's on the way, right? The dog often comes back home. The dog almost always comes back home. The, uh, the chickens come home to roost, in a sense, is what I'm getting with this. At some point, this is going to come back around to bite them in the butt. That's what I see with the dog. Folks, let's move it down just a little bit and take a look at what's going on with the house, with the family, with what these family vlog channels find um, as their, what, the, what they called to be their security. So I think it's interesting that there will be an eventual end to these selfish pursuits that um, are centered on getting more views, getting more money, right? What's unfortunate is that the that destructive um, 
harmful selfishness is what's going to shake up the house, so to speak, right? This appears to be a secure house on the surface. However, selfish pursuits are going to upend that completely. That's coming up in um, possibly, if nothing changes, this is possibly coming up in the future. That's what their present reality, that's what the real, reality in five years will be. What will be consciously going on is, again, this loyalty to pursuing drama like lightheartedly because it gets them views, it gets them money. But what's moving underneath is the institution. Now, this is YouTube, right? The institution, the tower, <coughs> is that um, con center of control, the panopticon, if you will, um, this is going to bring some really long-term, some extremely permanent news is what's moving underneath, right? At the end of the day, they're posting their stuff on YouTube's servers, and YouTube gets to decide how this is going to go. So I see them getting some really specific messages, some news, from YouTube about something really long-term and permanent, a permanent change because of something that possibly, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, that the channels did. The security is going to be disrupted. Demonetiza demonetization is the phrase that comes to mind. Okay, leading up to that five-year mark, what will be happening in the past will be an end to this really long-term idea of I can take this lightheartedly. I don't have to, take, have to take this seriously, right? I'm seeing a really specific end. And when you want to mess around with knighting, here, let me do this hand. When you want to mess around with knighting, I see YouTube putting a really quick rip stop to this idea of we can take these emotions lightheartedly. We can like we can we can do this in order to earn more money, right? Again, off camera versus on camera behavior, I think is what's this is talking about. That's in the past leading up to the five year mark. At the five year mark though, the security is still gonna be in YouTube. YouTube is underneath all of this stuff. They're going to stay loyal to what it takes to earn money from YouTube. By this point, a lot of these family vlog channels will be dependent on the money that comes from being monetized on YouTube, and they're going to stay loyal as heck to that, okay? In the future, past the five-year mark, we have selfishness. We're going to get, okay, so we got news and we've got chatter. What do birds spread around? But they do a lot of tweeting, if you will. They're going to spread a lot of messages about the selfishness that was going on behind the scenes. Maybe YouTube does some striking in the future. And then a little while after that, some, um, some news, some really dramatic news comes out in the future about how genuinely selfish some of these channels were when it came to their children, to their families. So I want to take a look at another coin and make another nine card spread, another portrait spread. Let's take a look at what's going on with the coffin, with what's being repressed, with what lies beneath, if you will. Now, these particular coins run into the cards or the coins of fate, if you will, which I suspect will create a little bit more of an interesting reading. So we've established that there will be just really, a, a, a just the cycles will not end, right? There will be some very public messages towards these family vlog channels that just give folks the sense that, you know, God, what happened decades in the past is still ha happening today, right? Nothing is ever new. Nothing ever changes. So with the coffin, that's re what's being repressed, what we're hiding, what we don't know, what we don't want other people to know. We really don't want other people to know. And it's also about death, right? It's about the end of one era and the beginning of another. 
So what's going on on a present circumstance? This is the money here is buried deep. For whatever reason, the money that is feeding these channels is coming from a really deep place. This is YouTube saying these family vlog channels make us so much money. We're not going to really do much that do that much with them. We're going to send them some news about how things are going to change in the future, but we're going to keep them. They make us a lot of money. Advertising dollars is what I'm getting. AdSense. Yeah. That's what will be going on around the five-year mark. Consciously, what's going on are really diff like difficult circumstances surrounding love. This is going to be a difficult end to compassion and love. Again, the kids are the furthest thing away from these quote-unquote family vlogs. Um, that's not the point. That's not why they're making these vlogs at all. It's going to cause some real emotional difficulties, some real difficulties to do with love in those families. It's going to be awful for those kids. I'm getting a nodding head from Spirit, a big nodding head. Yeah, these poor kids are really going to suffer. Moving underneath, we've got some really important messages that are going to be made public and they're just going to expose how this cycle never ends, right? It doesn't matter where, right? It can be YouTube. It can be, you know, old Hollywood with how they treated children, for instance. The cycle just repeats itself. Children aren't powerful, right? Children don't elect a U.S. Congress. There is no U.S. Congress of children, right? Children are inherently not powerful, right? It's why the U.N. has the rights of the child, and this is taking advantage of them, is what I'm really feeling. This is not about the kids. In the past, leading up to that five-year mark in the future, in the year 2026, money is going to be the biggest part of why these families display love publicly. That's the saddest thing, dude. It's right across the way from deception. They're going to be deceiving the kids, and they're going to be deceiving the public. Yes, we love these kids, but at the heart of the matter is money. That's screwed up, dude. Difficult messages that these family vlog channels are going to want to repress. They're not going to want those to get out to the public, but they're still going to get out. They're still going to be made public. They're not going to want them to be made public. In the future, there is very eventually Scythe, Anchor, and Ray. In the very, in the distant future, there is going to be an end to this cycle. It's going to be a long time coming, right? The Anchor really gives a sense of permanence, right? We're here in this harbor for a while. But one day there will be an end to that cycle. The Scythe says that this is going to cut this cycle. It's going to cut this permanent situation. It's going to cut the rope away from the anchor and the ship is going to sail away. Again, the kids and the revolution, they're going to see that they were lied to. They're going to see that they were used for their parents' wishes, hopes, and dreams. That they were used, right? They're going to see that in the future and they're going to stop it. One more thing, I want to take a look at the incoming revolution which the children will be pushing forward. I really get the feeling that the kids are going to find out about all these sexual things that their dads did, and it's going to kick off this idea of we were living a lie and I've had enough, right? Um, that's the sensation that I'm given. Um, moving forward, um, well, I should say, if I didn't already say, key is about um, opening up to stuff, to revolution. And I've said that the kids were going to revolutionize stuff, but what are, exactly are they going to do? Well, they're going to realize that their dads had some sexual issues tied to religion, 
And it's going to do something for, and also emotional issues. It's going to do something for them to understand that how they were living wasn't necessarily the best way to live. I see abuse being connected to money. The whip often means often means aggression. The whip does not typically mean good things. Um, I, if you can imagine some good situations where the whip would be good, um, let me know in the comments, okay? But I see they're going to understand. They're going to open up to the fact that their parents were motivated by money and their parents cracked that whip and said, look at the camera, do what it takes to make a good video. It's really depressed. Like, this is a depressing reading, y'all. Like, I enjoy... I do have a few family vlog channels that I really enjoy, especially the LGBT family vlogs. They give something for me to look up to. So they have a place in our culture. But how can we avoid exploiting the children for that? I mean, seriously. Um, let's take a look at what the president, present, present five year mark will look like around that point. They're going to realize that their celebrity status, well, we were talking about love having a lot of challenges and about their emotions being taken lightheartedly. I'm going to, I see this as love being used for celebrity status. And they're going to realize that, especially when I see the knighting that goes on right here. They're going to realize our love for our parents was used for the camera. Consciously, what will be going on is confusion around, uh, y'all, this is sexual abuse. Allegedly for entertainment purposes only, okay? This is not a replacement for law enforcement, for lawyers, for th good therapists. I see confusion around sexual abuse. I could be wrong. I'd like to be wrong here. Money, deception around the kids is what's moving underneath all of this. And they're going to see that for what it is. And they're going to be plain about how upset they are that that was how they grew up. I see children being abused for celebrity status leading up to this five-year mark. I see deception and confusion surrounding their revolution. It's not going to be easy to break out of what their parents set up for them, but they will break out. In their future, though, I see sex and love, but I also see money. I don't know that this is necessarily a good thing, and in fact, Spirit is shaking their head. I wonder if they're going to repeat cycles if they're not, some of them aren't going to repeat their parents' mistakes. Some are going to recognize how their parents screwed up, right? And they're going to talk about that. But in other cases, they're going to make the same mistakes. That's tragic, dude. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. Um, this is not a happy reading. So, folks, um, this was a depressing reading. I don't see good things happening for family vlog channels in the future, and I think that the kids are going to be the people who inherit the most harm. Um, yeah, I see the masculine parental figures taking their kids' emotions really lightly. And ma, uh, like, I say moms, I say uh, mater maternal parental figures also thinking about themselves first. They try to think about their families, but it's actually thinking about themselves first. Concerned with the latest news from YouTube, right? Those are, I guess you could call those the business managers in a sense, but all of this stuff, it's all underneath the tree, which gives me the sense of these roots aren't that well rooted, you know? You know, I grew up on a farm where we had some gorgeous, beautiful oak trees. 
And during storms, during really severe storms, um, the wind would be so powerful that it would blow a few of these oak trees over. And these were old, old oak trees, right? They had been there long before my family had moved onto the property. And when those old oak trees fell over, you could see their roots and how shallow they were. These roots, these oak trees had just spread the roots over the surface of the ground and they had never dug deep. So that when the winds came through, well, these trees were just sitting ducks and fell right over. Um, if they had been deeply rooted, they wouldn't have, they would have had a much harder time being pulled up. A tornado would have had to pull them up, not just, you know, heavy winds. Um, and that's really the sensation that I'm getting here, that these are shallow roots. Yeah. Y'all, that was a more depressing reading. Um, that was the future of family vlog channels on YouTube, let's say in the next five years or so. Um, I would love to be wrong. I would love things to change. But um, if things don't change, this is where things are headed in the future. Please keep in mind that I'm a beginner, that I am using this channel to learn how to read Letter Ma and Tarot. Um, I'm sure that I made some mistakes and that a more experienced individual can say, hey, you missed this, that's important. But um, what I'm getting right now, Spirit is saying, that's enough. That was a lot. I hope that you guys have a great day. Please consider um, subscribing if you want to see uh, me learn how to use tarot, how to use Letter Ma. Um, both tarot and Letter Ma are here for our benefits, right? They can sometimes sting in their messages, but they are not here to harm us. They are here to see us get the very best that we possibly can out of life. They're here for our benefit. They are not here to hurt us. Cool. You'll have a good day, okay?